It is customary in our closing convocation as we say farewell to the class of 2023 that we also acknowledge and thank our student body president for his extraordinary leadership and we symbolically pass the gavel of leadership. So I would ask that next year's student body president, Colin Kenny, please come forward. Colin, we're excited for you, and we're excited for your leadership and for what's in store for us in the 23-24 school year. But before that, won't you join me in one more time thanking and recognizing this year's student body, President Jacob Pacheco, for his extraordinary leadership this year. So as we begin to draw our year to a close, I'd like to take a moment and recognize some individuals who've been with us for many years, literally having spent every day of their schooling life here at Boys Latin. So if you're a member of the class of 2023 and you started in kindergarten, pre-first or first grade, please stand one last time so that we can recognize you together. And now that your appointments have been met and your commitments have been kept, I would ask that all other members of the class of 2023 stand one last time. It's good luck. Fellas, you've inspired us. You've made us a better and stronger community. We are forever grateful for your presence here on Lake Avenue. Congratulations, class of 2023. Go ahead and be seated. So as has been our custom at Closing Convocation, we take this opportunity to recognize a variety of faculty and staff milestones, thank them for their outstanding work. In particular, we acknowledge faculty and staff members who celebrate anniversaries in five-year increments. Five, 10, 15, got it? Okay. Uh, so when I call your name, please come forward to receive a small token of our appreciation as a school. Celebrating five years of service, Abigail Baker, Cassidy Bells, Veronica Bergstresser, Grady Gamble, Lori Fick, and Stephanie McLaughlin. Celebrating 10 years of service, Lisa Anthony, Megan Kenny, Sarah Moliazzi, Lisa Reed, and Phil Sheehy. Celebrating 15 years of service, Rudy Hurley and Mac McDonald.
I have the good fortune to interrupt this program for another 15-year recognition. Gentlemen, come on up. Hello, I'm Jeff Brent, President of the Board of Trustees. Um, I'm here because we're celebrating another anniversary for our freight leader, Chris Post, uh, who has also been here 15 years and led us through some of the most challenging times of the school's history. And today we're in the best shape we've ever been in. It's always a great day to be a Laker. Anyway, congratulations, Chris, for 15 years. Celebrating 20 years of service, Marsha Flaherty. And last, but certainly not least, for 20 years having served up big Texas rolls and honey buns and any of a variety of other break treats, and Whitman. This year, we bid farewell to three colleagues whose collective tenure uh, approaches nearly a hundred years of teaching. And so to begin, won't you please join me in thanking, congratulating, and recognizing Mrs. Rudy Hurley. Retiring this year from our middle school, team leader for the sixth grade, Mrs. Helen Potter. And last, but certainly not least, eighth grade science teacher extraordinaire, this is Julia Williams.
One of the great joys of this year as we fully return to our life as a school has been the full return of music. And so won't you join me in thanking and congratulating our upper school course under the direction of Mrs. Anderson again. But I, but I do also want to take a, a moment and, and thank and congratulate Mr. Bearford, Mrs. Anderson, Mr. Pisarchik for all of their work with all of our student musicians throughout the course of the year who have added such life to our school. Won't you join me in thanking them? One of the great joys of our school is to see the strong bonds of friendship formed among you as classmates, certainly, but those connections extend well beyond a single class or even a division, but instead across our entire campus. That work is no better seen than through what you do in our Laker Buddy program. Please join me in welcoming our faculty sponsors, Mrs. Julie Lynch and Ms. Molly, Ms. Molly Mullally to the podium. There are so many aspects to being a BL student, but the one that really stands out in, is our caring community, and this is personified in the Laker Buddy program. This program was created to connect all divisions and allow you boys to be role models to each other. It has been heartwarming to have the upper school students pop in for a game of dodgeball with their buddy, or at recess or lunch, or even just to sit in an academic class and really kind of support the entire class. Um, I really hope you understand what a great impact that you have had. Uh, we struggled with deciding who to recognize, so we're recognizing a lot of you. Uh, so uh, we kind of compromised and figured out a plan here. So um, I want to start by recognizing those who have consistently visited uh, his Laker buddy. Um, so if you would just stand in place and hold your applause while I read these names. Makai Agudo, Yaw Akufo, Braden Black, Trace Devanzo, E.J. Hill, Skeet Hine, Charlie London, Adam Lynch, Peyton Makawecki, Cole Quenzer, Connor Shanewetter, Connor Shanewetter, Xavier Thomas, Sam Tower, and Jadile Ward. Thank you guys for doing such a great job. <laughs> Next, in order to promote the importance of the program and to recruit more buddies, four amazing upper school students stepped up to be Laker buddies this year to be leaders for the program and to help us grow. This success of this year would not be, have been possible without these awesome upper school leaders. So we are so grateful. And when I call your name, please come forward and um, to receive a certificate and a small token of our appreciation. Spencer Becker. <laughs> Garrett Held. Ryan Kelly. And Brady Wazlowski. These guys were wonderful. Please give them another round of applause. In addition to the wonderful leaders, we would like to highlight three boys who went above and beyond this year to spend time with their Laker buddy. So their buddies are actually going to help present the award. And please know, it's not easy to get up here and speak, so we are going to help them. And they're very brave to come up here. Um, Xavier Raiswell, Sam Beck, and Jay Hayek, please come up to the podium. Okay. 
Xavier um, wrote something up about his buddy, John Barrett. He said, John is a great Laker buddy because he's kind and caring. He would do funny things at recess and play with everyone. John came to see me often, and I'm so glad he's my Laker buddy. So John Barrett, if you could come up and receive your award. My name is Sam, and I'm in fourth grade. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be Will's Laker buddy for this year. Will's a great guy. He's very caring. Every time we meet, we catch up and talk about sports. Whenever I see Will on campus, he always says hi. Being Will's Laker buddy has been a great experience. Congratulations, Will. Congratulations and thank you to all of our Laker buddies. Over the course of many years, the school has benefited from the generous support of alumni, parents, and families and friends that have created a series of funds to recognize outstanding contributions of faculty and staff members and to support the individual professional development for which faculty may apply. Applications are reviewed annually by a select committee and determined on an individual basis. The first award this year is the Ford Foundation presented to upper school faculty members that supports individual programs related to faculty members' academic interests and is presented this year to Molly Mullally and Eleanor West who will be leading students once again to Math Fest. Colbert Summer Travel Award is presented annually to a faculty member who is pursuing personal or professional travel related to their academic and personal growth. It's presented this year to Elisa Windsor, who's pursuing a graduate degree through the University of Pennsylvania, and this will help to support her summer studies. Elisa, congratulations. The Joan Pine Faculty Enrichment Award is presented to a faculty member who wishes to take advantage of a program in their, uh, in their field of interest uh, that will enhance their performance. And this year, it is presented to a longtime faculty member who is leaving the classroom to take on a brand new role as our lower school technology coordinator. This will support a technology conference this summer. Please join me in congratulating Mrs. Stephanie Lang.
next several awards are voted on again by the committee to recognize outstanding contributions and service. The first is the Gene Campbell Faculty Award presented to a faculty member who has made significant contributions to the school. It is a pleasure to present the Gene Campbell Award this year to lower school faculty member Ann Young. The Brooks Faculty Enrichment Award is presented annually to that faculty or staff member who exhibits, uh, who exhibits tremendous intellectual interest both inside and outside of the classroom, and this supports their personal professional interests. It is a pleasure to present this year's Brooks Faculty Enrichment Award to Judy Crowley. I'd like to invite Amanda Lopez, president of the Parents Association, to come forward and join me for the presentation of our final award. Amanda? Every year, the Parents Association does so much to support our school, to support you boys individually and as a whole, to support our faculty and staff. I think several of us have put on about 10 pounds this week in Faculty Appreciation Week. And of course, to supporting our parents and families through a variety of activities and programs. Mrs. Lopez has led these efforts for the past two years, and I'd ask you that you join me in thanking her once again for the generosity and dedication and all the good work of the entire Parents Association. Please join me in thanking Amanda. This last award is the Coatress Award. It's presented in conjunction with the Parents Association. The Thomas V. Coatress Award is given annually to that member of the faculty who, by their commitment to excellence, their unfailing pursuit of high personal standards, and their dedication to improving student achievement and student experience, follows in the footsteps of Thomas V. Coatress, a member of the math department faculty a beloved teacher, mentor, and friend who, in his quiet and insatiable, insatiably persistent way, inspired excellence among students and colleagues alike. It is my pleasure to present the Thomas V. Coatress Award this year to Megan Kenny. Congratulations to all of our recipients today. Congratulations to all those uh, for, for your service anniversaries. There are also some other congratulations I'd like to extend this morning. If you're a member of the varsity tennis team or if you're Coach Rich Zelaskowitz, won't you please stand up? In case you didn't know, our varsity tennis team yesterday beat the number one seed, Beth DeFilla, in the conference 3-2 to, to keep the championship trophy. 
Congratulations, coach and team, on the repeat. Way to go. So as we, as we draw our assembly to a close, and Mrs. Anderson warms up her fingers for some traveling music for us, I just want to offer a couple of words. As our year draws to a close, it's also an opportunity to thank people who have made it so incredible for us. In particular, fellas, won't you join me in thanking and recognizing our outstanding faculty who labor with you every day, a labor of love. Join me in thanking our faculty fellows. Today's assembly and every assembly we have here in the Iglehart wouldn't be possible without the great work of, Mr. Rick, of Coach Don Rickles. Mr. Rickles, thank you. Join me in thanking Ms. Moreau for her technological support. And especially new this year, already recognized as Rookie of the Year, Mr. Steve Penchik and our digital production team. And thanks especially to Mrs. Abigail Baker and Ms. Amy Keller for their help this morning with today's assembly. It's hard to believe we have just a couple of weeks left, fellas. It's been nothing but an extraordinary year. But we're not done yet. So over these next couple of weeks, do your very best. Be good to yourselves, take good care of yourselves, and take good care of one another. And as you know, it is always a great day to be a Laker. Enjoy the day, fellas.